guys, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer, and this is Farm Vlog number six. <laughs> Check it out. Today, we are actually getting finished with the chicken coop. So I want to give you an idea how we're building the outside cage. We're taking three two by four by eights and we're making a four foot tall cage to put on the outside of the chicken. This cage will also have a convertible roof system. So when I get in there to clean it, I'm not four feet tall. I want to be able to lift it up and we'll show you how we do that. We're going to hinge one portion of it and the rest of it should be pretty awesome. I hope we're going to hinge part of it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna build our uh, four by eight fence pin sections for the chicken coop. Pretty easy stuff. But first, we're gonna start a fire in the wood stove because it's cold in this shop. I'm gonna show you the lazy man's way of starting a fire. Put your fire log in here. I got these on special at Walmart. Pine Mountain fire log, beautiful. Put it in here. And then put your wood on top of the fire log and uh, a little bit of newspaper and boom. Fire. So while you're watching me make this fire and act like an idiot, do me a favor, leave some comments, check some stuff out that you... <laughs> All right, so while you're watching me act like an idiot, so while you're at, put some comments down there. Tell me what you want to see. I don't care if you tell me, hey, Josh, you're really funny. Hey, Josh, you're really stupid. Hey, get on my nerves. Hey, I'm going to subscribe to your channel because you're freaking awesome. Whatever you want to put, put it down. Check it out. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some thumbs down. Give me whatever you want. Show me, tell me, whatever you want me to do. All right? <laughs> I think we crack a show. One other key ingredient in starting the fire is odorless lighter fluid. It does have an odor, I promise you. Another thing I've learned about building a fire, whoops, I almost fell down. <laughs> Another thing I've learned about building a fire is don't be an idiot and put a great big log on at first. Get some hot coals in there, then put your big log on and your fire will be better, I think. We have a redneck fire starting device. This makes it so much easier. Boom. Fire start. Boom shakalaka, baby. This is all one great big learning experience. If you put your camera facing the outside where it's bright, it won't show up bright in the inside. So I've got to pay attention to what I'm doing. Learning the new camera. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm new. I'm new. I'm new! talk about something real quick. I'm not doing YouTube videos to impress you. I'm not doing YouTube videos to show you what a big hippie I am. I'm not doing YouTube videos because farming is precious. This is a man's farm. This is not a hippie farm. This is not a party farm. This is a farm where things are getting done, okay? I'm not doing this to impress you. I'm doing this because I need a therapist and the camera's a good therapist. So keep watching and enjoy what you see. Excuse me. So I had an undisclosed person tell me, Josh, just be yourself. You sound like a hick. Even more than a hick than we normally sound like where we live. Hey, you know what? I'm not trying to sound like a hick. I'm just doing what I'm doing. They say you're accentuating your accent. I'm not accentuating my accent. I'm relaxing and doing work. So stop picking on me. My new sunglasses. My new sunglasses are rad. My new sunglasses are rad. Oh yeah. They're made by Still, known for tough sunglasses. They're not really rad. They're nerdy. Not a hippie, not a hipster. So here's the type of fence wire we're using. It's like a green heavy duty fence wire. Uh, two by three inch mesh fence wire. I think that'll be plenty. I don't see any, uh, maybe a weasel could get through there or something, but I don't see anything else getting in there. And what we have a problem with is coyotes, raccoons, and possums. Oh, be sure and check out right here, the full review of the uh, chicken coop. You'll wanna be careful to not stretch the fence out of shape. If you did, or the fence has some dings in it, just straighten them out as you go. I had to go get a belt, my crack was showing. So at this point, we've got the wire stretched out over and stapled on. We'll take some snips and we'll snip it off and we'll finish stapling. We'll take it down to the coop, nail it up to the coop. We gotta make two more panels after this. Uh, this is the last side panel, and then we'll do two roof panels 
and uh, we'll be done. So let's walk this fence pedal down to the chicken coop and get it put up. Got to turn it around to fit on the other side. In case you're wondering, I'm six foot five, 265 pounds of beef and heart disease. I had Chinese food for breakfast. That's how I got so strong. So we'll take our pass load nailer and nail up this fence panel, just evening everything up with what's already here. It's off level right now. I know it's off level. I'll complete leveling it after I get the top put on it and everything's right. Hey, buddy dog. So I think Buddy wants to check out the chicken coop, so let's let him in here. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, do you like it? Come here. Sit down. Sit down. You like it? You do? You you oh, you do. Lay down. Oh, give me a hug. Come on. Give me a hug. All right, so we got that part on. We're going to go build the two roof sections. We'll put those on. Not complete our task because we are too excited about riding in the gator and we left the nail gun down at the damn chicken coop. Ah. Let's get together and feel alright. This is not a selfie stick. This is a what is it? Oh, this is a tripod. Whoop. Not a selfie stick. Big camera on the end of that. So guys, I feel really bad. I put goat chicken in with the regular chickens. He she's actually the mother of these chickens but she's very upset. She's not had a life uh, confined in a coop uh, since she was really young, so she's really upset. I'll show you what she's doing. She's just kind of pacing, uh, wanting to go back in with the uh, goats. So I feel bad for her, but she'll be safe, and she's actually laying eggs, so we'll get some eggs now, thank goodness. Hey, little goat chicken. <laughs> All little goat chicken wants is to go back in with the pigs and the uh, goats, but we can't do it. I'm sorry, little goat chicken. So guys, if you're new to the channel or new to my videos and you haven't seen this right here, this is our mobile chicken coop. Basically a mobile chicken coop we move every two days or every day depending on how much manure the chickens produce and we move it throughout the yard. The chickens are going to go out of this because they're at the age where they're going to start laying eggs. So we want to move them out of this and into the chicken coop. That's why we're doing all this. Otherwise we'd leave them out here to let them fertilize the yard. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a progression of days. This, you can hardly tell they were even here and this was about 12 days ago. This is about 10 days ago. This is about eight. This is about seven, six. I kept them here for three days, so five, four, three. One day here, two. And the last day they were right here, so one. And I've just moved them, and tonight we'll move them into the new coop. So if you look, you get a pretty good progression of uh, the yard. Kind of looks like crap and then it greens up so this is where they were about two weeks ago they were right here and it's dead of winter right now my grass is going to explode with uh, life and without any fertilizer so it's pretty awesome been working on this chicken coop for days and days finally i'm excited gonna release the chickens in here Put a little light in here so that they uh, can find their roosting pole. Um, look for a complete comprehensive uh, overview of what the chicken coop is all about. Uh, that should come up in the next few days. Uh, good stuff. It's a bit heavy. There you go. All right. That's it, it's on there. I'm gonna nail it in place. The biggest thing you gotta worry about when you make a chicken coop is predators. You're not really fencing the chickens in, you're fencing predators out. So we're gonna actually put some little lights out here because that deters predators. And we're gonna put a solar motion light on this thing, helping to deter predators. Try to keep critters out of my chicken coop because last time I lost 15 in one night. 15 chickens in one night. 15 chickens in one night. 15 chickens, what got them? 
I don't know. So something I didn't bank on was this stupid little ledge being right here. I'm not a big fan of it, but it also affords me other opportunities uh, to put hooks and or these little lights. So I got these little deck lights I'll show you. So these little lights have a solar panel on them and a little light right here. And I'm gonna put one above the door and maybe, you know, one on each side, something like that, all the way around to help deter predators from coming around the chicken coop because the light will help to deter the predators. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching The Stony Ridge Farmer. Please subscribe to the channel, check it out, leave me some notes, leave me messages, comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, I don't care. Just let me know you're watching me. Let me know that you like it, and I'll keep on doing this stuff. Thanks for watching. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Have a great day. Woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! These are the hands of a man and a nurse. Don't forget it. America, baby. Woo!